Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and did a little more work on the interior. I know, I was supposed to be looking into fabric, the, uh, the fabric server software, and I just, uh, I raised the walls a little bit. I need to start figuring out what I'm going to do about that arch, especially since I got a couple, excuse me, I got a couple of spots where the, uh, <laughs> where... That, that's about as high as I can go without starting to poke through the uh, poke through the mountain. So uh, <laughs> I might have to rework this arch a little bit. Uh, and definitely start working on the ceiling arch. I touched up the staircase a little bit more. Added some bookshelves to kind of block off that space. Because I, I kept trying to make this look like it was supported. And not just, you know, kind of floating. Hanging by a couple of bricks in the wall and the stairs. And uh, yeah, that that wasn't working out so well. So I ended up just uh, closing it in and uh, putting some bookshelves there and some backwards uh, looms to look like a couple of empty shelves to give it just a little more variety. This is like the eighth version of a pillar I've tried to put because I wanted to put a couple of small pillars in here to again give it the feeling of some support. Um, I'm not exactly loving it. Also, I might take this one and move it forward to this spot and leave those two back there to kind of stagger them a little bit. Or, or I might just leave it like that. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that part out. But it is still looking a little bit better. Um, I'm going to put a room up here somewhere at some point. Uh, no idea what or where yet. And I did uh, touch up the railing a little bit and raise the roof a little bit that took uh that took a while and that's where the, that's where the bulk of my time was spent uh all that stone is not going to waste i've got it all minted up into some bricks for something that we'll get into here very shortly uh as it is i i've I can't tell if that's the server not loading right or the chest was actually empty. Uh, I am, <laughs> part of why I'm running a l even later than I'd intended was uh, some issues logging into the server a minute ago. Uh, <clears throat> so, about that, search for uh, the fabric software. Yeah, that's that's got to happen. I, of course, I said that before, too. Um else around here? There was something else around here. Because I know I didn't spend my time just on the interior here. Although I did play around with a few different designs. And this is the one that stuck around the longest for uh, underneath here. Because I, I wanted to give it uh, a different feel than the flip side on the floor there. And, and yeah, I, I tried a few different variety of things. And uh, that's that's the one that stuck so far. It stuck the longest, so it might it might end up being the the one. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I, I I do like that I've got some light from there, some light from there, so this does not feel like a dark dungeon. Uh, although I wouldn't mind putting some lights in the walls. Although, although I think once I get the roof figured out, I'm going to start working on uh, hanging a couple of chandeliers. We have actual candles, so it's not like you put down a torch and go, I pretend that that is a candle. Uh, we've got actual candles now, which is even more awesome. Uh, oh, oh, now I remember why I came. I came all the way over here for a couple things, and uh, I'm going to need some coal. I'm going to need, did I leave my shears in here? All right, I got a couple of I got a couple of shears in there, so I'll be able to get my under chest. Yeah, I'll be able to get my under chest over there, um, and I'm gonna need some pumpkins. I'm gonna need to get some pumpkins after I sleep. <laughs> Because I want to make sure that I appropriately light up the sugarcane portion of this farm, uh, which is going to be built on the roof of the mob farm. 
Uh, however, comma, <laughs> I, uh, where did I put, there we go, I'm gonna need some of that too, um, maybe more, we'll see, uh, I, I'm feeling a little, little more like, uh, burning some rockets, literally, only because, uh, I, hello Beach Duck, only because this, this mob farm should be, uh, should be coming along shortly, did, did you see my, uh, grain stairway and balcony <laughs> it's getting there it's getting there it's probably going to go through one or two more revisions um i wouldn't mind figuring out a railing for the stairs although i kind of like leaving them open like that too i mean look if you fall off the stairs it's your own fault okay let's get back to i need to find some pumpkins because when i build Oh, come on, man. Yeah, the... Mm. And I just got an email from uh, Nodecraft saying that they, they... Something, something, adding extra memory. Check out the... Check out the blog, and I, uh, you know... Uh, I have very mixed feelings. Their customer service has been fantastic. Fantastic. Um, my experience on their hardware has not been fantastic. Although, we did have problems uh, running vanilla Minecraft on Cubed Host as well. So, I have no doubt that that is at least part of our trouble. Um... But part is not all. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what's going in here. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Sorry, no. Advanced previews. Not spoilers. Advanced previews. Um, should probably find more of the blue dye that he needs. Uh, Friday is going to be a redstone day. Because the furnace array has a flaw. So I tore it down, and uh, I need to work on the solution to said flaw before I start building anything again. Uh, bother. Uh, let's try this one more time. We gotta talk to Medic about switching those out to, uh, wooden buttons so you get just a little more time to leave the door, <laughs> leave through the door. Render. Alright, so this is the same basic farm that we used for the creeper farm. Uh, just, um, uh, this time not all the platforms are going to have, is that where I put it? Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, only this time, uh, not all the layers are going to have, um, thoughts. No, uh, not all the layers are going to have trapdoors making it so, uh, so you, you'll, you'll, Sorry, my brain today. Um, <clears throat> not all the layers are going to have trapdoors, so that uh, we'll get more mobs than just creepers. Uh, I would like to actually have uh, a little more, a little more variety in the loot that comes out of this one. The primary, so the primary goal is gunpowder, but I do, I do want a little more than just that. There, was that so hard? Let me, let me. All right. So what I want to do is get 
the core of the platform done. Uh, I'm not sure how many platforms I want to build now that it comes down to it. Uh, once I get these built, there's glass pillars that are going to need to go in place. And then trap doors on the platforms that are getting them. And then I will start wiring in the, the redstone. But first, I'm going to reboot the server because it show is not cooperating. I uh, yeah, again, like like we we've got more RAM than we had on Cubed Host. And I just, I wish I knew. Uh, that was me. What was you? Well, it kicked me out a minute ago, and then I tried to log back in just now after giving it about three minutes, and it crashed the server. <laughs> no, that wasn't what crashed it. Um... That may have been at the time it crashed, but that was not logging in is not what crashed the server. I don't I don't know what though, and it is irking me. Um, we we have plenty of RAM. Uh, there we go. Loading. Please wait. How are all of you doing today? Oh, I was doing pretty good. <laughs> Tired, but okay. Yeah. Went to boot up Minecraft a minute ago and booted up a uh, Minecraft dungeon on accident, so I spent <laughs> like two minutes running around looking at my character to see what they changed, uh, which is a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then decided that maybe now was not the best time to explore that, so I came back over here. <laughs> um. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm all the way back here. Actually, while you're there, because that's where I was going to head, check his melon and pumpkin farm. Maybe it, that's overflowed? No, it. the box is not full. Okay. I, I have no idea then, because those are the only automated farms I can think of off the top of my head. Open! I'll just break it and put it back down. <laughs> no, I pushed the button. It's not... The, the button is depressed. And so am I. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe today is going to be a redstone day. Does somebody have a does somebody have a download going in the background? Is it a bandwidth problem? Is it like No, Discord's registering us at uh, Green Ping, so it can't be that. Uh that's not the be all end all of that. Well, it's the one I go by normally. I don't have any downloads going. The world. The world is conspiring. No, that's not the one I wanted. <laughs> Okay, so the stack of pumpkins that I took is missing, but I am back here with no pumpkins. Am I going to find a, a, a thing of pumpkins in the box that I never, never got to? Alright, let me take another stack just in case. 
Uh. <laughs> Alright. I, I just, I don't. I just wanted to relax and have some fun with Minecraft again. And Medic. Wooden buttons. They stay depressed longer. <laughs> so you can get through the door easier. The stone buttons must have lithium in them. They're not depressed enough. No. No, the wooden buttons last longer. Stone shorter. Well, there's the torches that I put down when I was here. We should go back in the video and check. You may have duplicated the torches. <laughs> well, and there's the stack of pumpkins I grabbed, and there's my stack of coal. And <laughs> oh, I get a second Elytra. <laughs> what? Uh, I am official. I am officially opposed to item duplication glitches, but I'm gonna put my second plus one flighty thingy in, in the box and. and uh... Huh? What? What? I what? I didn't. Uh huh? Are Are you running some Doc M duplication stuff? Yes, I said flighty thingy. I was thinking of you when I named it. See. It is my plus one flighty thingy. I also have my mine plus one is, swirtle. Mine is the uh, plus one bane <laughs> of Reyes. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let's try this again. <laughs> for packed ice. No, not regular ice, packed ice. Because one of the other things that I could figure out is I in, I originally built this platform here because I was thinking of just dropping the storage down here. But that's also when I was considering putting the sugarcane farm around the bottom edge here. So I was thinking about why? Why? What? Is it gonna rain now? Um, I was gonna put the the sugarcane farm along the wall here since there's not really anything else there. But then I realized that the problem with that is I need light on the sugarcane farm to encourage it to grow faster. And the light from the sugarcane farm would interfere with the mob spawning on the platforms. So now what I'm thinking of doing is running a smart hopper out of here into a water stream out to the end there. And then, and no one then, and then run all the items up. A, a bubble column to the AFK platform and also set it up so that way the sugarcane farm feeds up to the AFK platform. So this becomes self-contained. All you have to do is head up to the AFK platform and stuff arrives. Sugarcane, zombie flesh, all of it. Um, that is the current thought. Um, Uh, one of the things that I do need to uh, uh, one of the things that I do need to contemplate is where the walls are gonna go and I I'm starting to think glass was the wrong idea for here no 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 we, we can make that work we can make that work all right I'll just bring the bubble column one block further out from here. Um, I'm probably not going to make the bubble column in glass. Matter of fact, I'm just going to get the ice going out to the edge first. And then I'll figure out the rest later. Because, uh, oh. a little too far. 
because I want to see how much glass I have left over from the columns. I, I didn't exactly do a precise count. Alright, so if that's where the hopper is going to be, that means that's where the ice rood needs to be. I do not need my wings because the nice thing about building over a lake, you don't have to worry about falling. I mean, you do have to worry about falling. They're, they're be drowned in there. Some people are even lucky enough to get tridents from the drown. Oh! <laughs> not a smack <laughs> in the face. <laughs> but... Family friendly channel. Friend, family friendly channel. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, that's the glass. That's one block out. Uh, one block more, and then the bubble column. Then I'll figure out what to do with the rest of that later. For now, I'm going to light that up so no no surprises appear on the pathway while I'm working, because that would be that would be tragic. I'm going to put the ice away because I'm going to need more of that before this is done. We got torches and glass. Cheers. Tempt, tempt luck and fate like what? Talking about fall damage? too far into it. It's about time to sleep. Hi, friend. And that is why I'd rather have a chest plate. Because sooner or later, one of these guys is going to be flinging something at me. And I'd rather have the protection. And if I fall in, I'd rather have the protection. Although, not gonna lie, if uh, one of these guys starts flinging a trident, I will totally stop what I'm working on to see if I can get him to donate it to the cause and uh, give it to Arcadius. So he can have the second trident Aww. of the season. Aww. Oh, hey, speaking of tridents. Hi, friend. Where you at? Ow. Ah? Ah? Hang on. Or is it floating? Ow! Oh. Don't fall off the scaffolding. Nope. He just gave me a head. I mean, I've always wanted to get ahead. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's just rotten. All right, how many more bad jokes can I do before uh, I get booted from the server? Before I get booted from my own server. <laughs> Well, if it makes you feel any better, I don't think uh, bad jokes is what boots us off the server. No. No, it's not. Might have to come through here with like a couple of shields or something. And uh, just stick around and see if I can't farm enough tridents out of these people. I have thought about putting together a drowned farm underneath this mob farm. Um... That that might have to that might have to wait though. That is not a top priority. Although it'd be a nice source of copper too. Because that's what we need is more sources of copper. No. I was just about to ask if copper was really at the top of our list right now. <laughs> no. Not even a little bit. Alright. One two. Glass. And 
that's going to be the basic pattern. Round and round we go. How many platforms do I even have now? One, two. I'm working on number three. Uh, I'm thinking of 11 or 12 platforms. Although, I seem to recall we only had nine last season. But I also want to have a couple of platforms for general mobs that aren't spiders. Screw that. No spiders. I'm, ta I'm taking a page out of Rayast's playbook. No spiders. <laughs> Speaking of Rayast. Speaking of? Where is she? In chat. That doesn't count. No, that doesn't count. But I think it's the best we're gonna we're gonna get for for now. Yeah, I, I kind of thought as much. Speaking of work. Speaking of work. Uh-oh. Uh, I uh, actually got a message today that tomorrow around lunchtime, I have my full-time employee interview. Oh, nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Something I have been waiting on for many months. Doesn't necessarily mean I have the job, but at least I'm getting interviewed for it. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'll take the interview. Mm -hmm. Two, three, five, six, and glass. Is that the froggy mode? Nice. Um, I need to remember. I I need to re now that they've let uh, everybody have a couple of a, a couple of emotes on their channel. I need to. I need to upload our Minecraft face as faces as emotes. Although, before I do that, I need to make sure that Medic and Arcadius are going to stick with that one for a little while. No, I think this one's mine. Yeah, I'm 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 the frog, so. Yeah. Just checking cuz uh I I know I've had to change it a couple times. I'm pretty. I'm pretty set. When I when I get back to streaming, it's gonna be Guardy uh, Valley. So. Ah. Yeah, I may tag team a game here and there of uh, oh, I don't know some mercenary work if, if someone else is uh, streaming, but. <laughs> Most of the content coming out of my channel is going to be Stardew Valley related. Yeah, you know, at least until Fallout, you know, five comes out. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that goes. At which point, it'll be a question of whether or not Twitch is still around when Fallout Five comes out. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh. I don't know. Uh, Bethesda suddenly has a lot more resources to work with, you know. Well, right now, all their resources are focused towards Starfield, I think it's called. Ah. And that should be coming out early next year, I believe. Okay. Something to that effect. Um, at which point, all the resources are going to go towards a uh, the next version of, or the next chapter in their Elder Scrolls which they've already said they understand the plight of the community and are already 
considering the fact that people want to play with their friends. Okay. So they're gonna try. They're gonna try something that that's multiplayer, but not Elder Scrolls Online. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I got from the interview. I hope so. Yeah, I think that'd be amazing. Because pretty much that's what the community thought they were giving us anyway. <laughs> Although I, I will say that uh, Microsoft has done a decent job of group gameplay so this this might be the perfect opportunity to to do that and get it get it right true um i just hope that it goes well because the next project on the docket after that one which they say if everything goes according to plan and they release uh two Starfield or whatever it's supposed to be called. I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, it's a brand new title, so I, it's not something I've ever heard before. But um, uh, if it actually releases uh, next year on time and everything, they say that uh, the ESO will be, or Elder Scrolls game will be out for holiday of 25. And that would mean that the other one would be here for holiday of 27. Ooh, that could be nice. I heard in Java. I heard in Java. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's not exactly the quietest puppy. Mm -hmm. No, he, he heard uh, Fallout was holiday, you know, 27 and he got happy. Fallout! <laughs> yeah. He, he wants us to get that mod that reskins dog meat as uh, a black lab. That's right. Two, three, four. Yeah, I showed that to Reyes the other day when we finally got her her own copy of Fallout. And uh, it used to be free in the uh, creation. Uh, creators club or whatever and now it's like 200 coins or something <laughs> I think it depends on which edition you got 10 oh she got the uh, game of the year edition 11. so it's got all the expansions in it torch on the block. Okay. Ah, uh, sleepy time. In the game. Although it's good that somebody has uh, pleasant, pleasant gaming news, because it uh, buried in a report somewhere was that Google Stadia has been demoted to a second tier service. And they are, at the moment, considering instead of trying to run it as a gaming service like Xbox Live running it as a white label service for other people to run their games. So it'll be like the Amazon Web Services of gaming or the Microsoft Azure of gaming. Um, so other people will be able to run online games competitive to Sony's PlayStation Now and Microsoft's Xbox Live. But Google's not going to actually be doing the work themselves anymore. 
Uh, there's a lot of people. What are we talking about? Huh? What are we talking about? Google Stadia. Never heard of it. Uh, and that would be the, that would be the problem now, wouldn't it? (laughs) That, that would, that would be the problem in a nutshell now, wouldn't it? (laughs) Uh, and and I think what kills me about it is there's a lot of people talking about it. Like, like, yeah, they just, they, they don't, they don't have the game studios. They don't have the games. They don't have the name recognition in the gaming space. And all, all, all the same stuff that I remember people saying about Microsoft when Xbox initially launched. And I can't help but wonder if, if Google had just stuck it out, could they have actually turned Stadia into, could they still turn Stadia into an actual game, competitive gaming service? Because everybody forgets just how, how behind the ball Microsoft was as a new entrant into the gaming space when the Xbox initially launched. I mean, now we talk about it like it's a foregone conclusion, but it sure wasn't at the time. And, uh, yeah, I I just, you know, Microsoft didn't have the studios. They didn't have the games. They, it wasn't until Halo that they, they actually had a hit that made people look at it, you know, for serious. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the problem. Stadia doesn't have Halo. Quote unquote, they they need to find their Halo. And yeah, well, and that's throwing in the flag like this. They're never gonna find their Halo. That. Holy cow! What? Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh oh. Are you okay? Oh yeah. Are you there? Well, How old are you? <laughs> Behind you. How in the world did I get a glass pane in my inventory? Uh, I'm down in the mines, so don't blame me. <laughs> I'm down in the mines, too. Oh. Two. Where are you? In the mines? Which mines? The mines mines. The Mensa mines? The Masa mines. Yeah, the mines of Mensa. Yeah. So many platforms. I'm up here trying to figure out where that slime came from. Uh, yes. We we all need slime, Rayast. Uh, and I'm going to need a lot more than three blocks. Uh, um, I remember somewhere, I'm not quite sure where, but I remember seeing a stack of slime balls. Uh, I thought it was in one of the two community centers. It's in this, yes, it's in the uh, center section of the mountain area. It's in one of those chests. You sure about that? I'm certain I saw a stack of slime balls. Uh, yeah, because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a bunch of slime blocks for the farm for the sugarcane portion of this endeavor. Although I'm curious, I wonder if slime blocks would work or uh, uh, honey blocks would work in place of slime blocks for this. I might have to try that out in a creative world before I go through the hassle of doing that. Because, uh, although, at some point, a uh, honey farm would be nice too, because I could definitely use honey blocks in place of some of the slime blocks and the smelter stuff that oh, I got. I could certainly do a honey farm. I was about to say, I got you everything you need for that, didn't I? Yeah. I, I got a couple of hives that I keep intending to turn into a small scale one until something bigger can be put together. But uh, 
I don't know, I've got him like 10 highs already. Several Bs too. I, I also I also wish that we could use uh, honeycomb to make uh, <laughs> to make sticky pistons in place of uh, slime balls or in it as an either or thing. I mean, we could always add the custom recipe to make that happen anyway. I, I, it feels like one of those things that would, that just kind of makes sense. I mean, if the, if the slime, if, if the honey blocks are equivalent to the slime blocks for certain purposes, why wouldn't the, uh, the honeycomb be equivalent to the slime balls in certain purposes? But that's not a... It's not a slime or a honey ball. It's a wax ball. You, you, you're telling me that uh, I can't wax together a uh, a lead? I mean, you probably could wax together a lead, but I don't think you're gonna make a piston sticky with wax. I mean, you're gonna make it slippery. Uh, <laughs> depends on the wax you use. True. Okay, so are they African bees, or are they North American bees? <laughs> uh, I, I believe the reference you're looking for is uh, African or European. Oh no, I was actually talking about the bees. Some of them have sticky hive and... Oh, I, I thought you <laughs> I thought you were referencing the Monty as Python. Much, as much as I would like Monty Python and Look, would love to reference that, I, I was I, actually talking about the I legit <laughs> thought you were referencing Monty Python and the search for the Holy Grail and the whole, well, is it a European swallow or an African swallow? I don't know that. Ah. <laughs> no, no. As much as I would love to take it in that direction, and we can if you want, I was actually referring to the actual creature and... Different honey. Yeah. Different yeah. Different wax. All that good stuff. Good gracious. Although at least at least now that you can wax copper with it, uh it it, it gives the honeycomb a use. And that was really my big my big frustration. It, it, things that What are you talking about? That's not the big use. The big use is candles. <laughs> uh, well, now because those came at the same point. Remember, candles weren't there before. You, you just had honeycomb that made an ugly block. Yeah, but you talk about that like it's the like the be all end all use of it. Uh -huh. And Reyes points out that given that we're using the B Rallis skin, it's technically a European. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bloop. <laughs> Bonjour. Except, except I know my voice isn't that soft, so uh, that's not. No, you'll just you're you're the uh, Frenchman who's been smoking half their life. That's all. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't think he has said how many languages he actually speaks. I mean, beyond Swedish, Polish, and English, I'm not sure. How many more do you need? I mean, 
Uh, well, it depends where <laughs> where in Europe you're going working. That's fair. I know I know my great grandfather had quite a few languages under his belt before coming to the states. Yeah, yeah, about five-ish, five adjacent, depending depending on a lot. I hope that's enough glass. Who one do the Europeans call us stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what what was that Bruce Willis line? I only speak well, English and bad English. <laughs> like well, there's that. a lot of other reasons why Europeans call it stupid. <laughs> Some of them are even legitimate. Yeah. Oh, we have good dental. <laughs> Five, six. Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep moving right along from that. Counts wrong, but I feel like I'm doing some dance. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four. I can't remember his name though. I don't know. I might run out of. I might run out of stone. <laughs> I don't know how you're building with that. Why? Th this is going to be hidden. It's got to be all dark in here anyway. So. Yeah, but. I, I, I wouldn't even be able to look at it. Why? After after last season, man. Yeah, I, I just, I don't have that problem. <laughs> it, it was a material. Uh, <laughs> it was it's the only material. still a material. It wasn't the only material. You had wood. Everybody started off with the same number of trees. What you did from there is on you. <laughs> I mean, not everybody got apples as quickly. Like you? <sighs> <laughs> you want to talk about it? <laughs> no. You know, I would I wouldn't mind doing another skyblock edition if we did it where we didn't have all the problems that we had going into it the first time. I would like to see what would change if we had access to the uh, the shop. Um, like what was in the shop, and how much currency did we actually earn? Uh, well, there was no shop. It, it is up to you to pick a shop and install it. Oh. Because all those things we, which are so which is a getting... big part of why we didn't have a shop, because uh, we could have put whatever we wanted in there, and we already had enough decisions with the ore generator and that kind of stuff. Uh, honestly, what I was thinking of was if we do another skyblock interlude, instead of each of us having our own individual islands, we try to do an impulse and schizzleman where we share an island. Um, I like that. And, and betting pools will be open for how quickly in the season Reyes pushes Arcadius off the island. Is, is that how we're voting people off? Five minutes. <laughs> Five, minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes? Man. I, I, I think he'd last a little bit longer than that. I mean, at least well, six. Nope, because that's going to be as long as it takes for him to keep opening her chest. <laughs> oh, man. I, I mean... He's got a point. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and of course, it couldn't be six minutes. That That's an even number, so it'd have to be either five or seven. No, no, it could be three. Three is an odd 
Yeah, but there were no chests in that game for me to open. <laughs> wow, you, you're just going to throw that out in chat too? I, I'm... I, yeah, I I both do and don't want to get that game where one of you has the bomb diffusion instructions and the other has the book. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> that would be a funny stream to watch. Uh, you know, get get your popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no I want to no, go I for some popcorn back. too. <laughs> I, th I take that back. That I would actually drive on bald tires to come up and see you guys for. <laughs> what to watch them play that game where one has the goggles and the other has the instructions? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes I would. I would take a chance of destroying my vehicle to come up there and watch that. Wow. In wow. person. Wow. Well, listen, there, there's a couple of stores uh, over there that we can't find equivalent stuff over here, so I'm going to have to send a list and uh, bring it with you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I still I still want to get an Among Us live stream together, too. We, we've got to get... Uh, we got to get a game going with Beach Duck so she can get used to the controls and all that before we actually do the live stream. But I, I still would like to do that at least once or twice. Just I, I, I know I know it's gotten kind of old and passe, but I don't care. Um, it would still be funny. With it, the... it would be fun. And with our group, it would be funny. Um yeah, I, I have not played yet either, but the controls don't exactly look all that hard. It's designed to be run on a tablet, so we're, we're not talking about complicated keyboard shortcuts or mouse interactions. Because it's all... I played. Hmm? I played. Uh, as a matter of fact, the first and only time I've played that uh, was... Well, of course we're going to blame past... you. You're the middle child. You get blamed for everything. This is not this past uh, New Year's, but um, 2021, so uh, New Year's Eve of 2020, uh, played it with uh, Beast. We streamed it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Me and it, well, Beast and Blackjack. And, and, that's, and that's what I want to do is get a big stream with the four of us, Beach Duck, Pink Geek, Beast Lord. Yeah. Um, and, and get a decent sized group together. And see just what kind of havoc we can cause. One, two, three. Well, of course we're going to blame you, Reyes, because you're like the intelligent one of the group, so... It's always got to be you. <laughs> I resemble that remark. No, I won't blame you. I won't blame you, sweetie. I know better. <laughs> I'm still waiting until I get stuck with the statistically improbable number of times as the saboteur. Oh, I know it's going to be you. Why? <laughs> because Cause it's a dice roll? Yeah. <laughs> you're either going to die first, or you're going to be the saboteur. That's my answer, I'm sticking to it. So you're getting the vote for me every time. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you're, you're better off to die the first round, 
or to get, you know. <laughs> yeah, Rast, I kind of figure it's going to be one of those things where I, I get, like, the green treatment and I get stuck as a saboteur all the time, or I never get it the entire time we're playing. It's going to be one or the other. There, there will be no happy medium. It, it's just going to be all sabotage all night or nothing. Not once. I will not get to murder a crewmate once. <laughs> I didn't. I was always getting murdered. There, it's still good on stone. Why do I have those random four? Never mind. I don't want to know. Top off the food while I'm thinking about it. And uh, I should probably drop these in here before I forget. Why is there a random chicken in the water? They do that. What, the chickens? They just randomly, like, fly in the water? I have a theory. I don't think it's accurate, but I have a theory. Okay. I think... There's two of them! Yeah, I think... Wh which one of the... you was tossing eggs at, at, at me while I was here? I'm, I'm in the... Mines I'm in the mines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, you know the jockeys? Oh yeah. Do the drowns? Can they spawn in as jockeys? I don't think the drown can. But I I could see I could see a jockey coming out over by the water and then the chicken ending up there when the zombie tries to get to the water to stop from burning no the the drowned can come in as jockeys they just they ride the squid <laughs> that that would be kind of nice either ride the oh, squid or ride a dolphin I was, I was with it for a second there. i was like really that's a thing now that's messed up no i i could definitely I could definitely see them riding it, riding a dolphin. But if you're gonna do that, you got to give them the trident and and make them, you know, Aquaman like the least cool DC comic book character until Jason Momoa, you know, took over it. And no, they they no, he, even he couldn't save the character. At least in the... I, I didn't watch the Justice League movie either, Cut. But in the standalone Aquaman movie, it's like they couldn't decide if they wanted to make him intel deceptively intelligent or an utter meathead. And he did stuff in keeping with both characterizations. That was just kind of... Yeah, frustrating. So far, so good.
Mm. 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 No, they don't make those noises anymore. Instead, we gotta go. How are you doing? That's only one of four possible things, but it seems like that's the one that they say all the time. <laughs> that was actually really weird, because as soon as you said that, I literally turned thinking there was a villager behind me. <laughs> I, I guess the pitch shift didn't, uh, didn't do its job then. It's still recognizably me. Except for the kids. <laughs> yeah, the, the, those are kind of... I don't know when I'm going to get around to it, but I do want to do something similar with the um, with the zombies. <laughs> but I, I, I want them to moan through coffee. <laughs> Except I get I get to figure out just how many things they say, so I can fig so I can figure out what I'm gonna do, because I'm pretty sure uh, they have more than more than two idle noises. I just I I don't know how many. Although I could just double up on a couple of them too. Hey, Reyes, are you still here? Uh, possibly. Oh, um, before I before I say anything, I see if she's still here. All right, Reyes, if you're still listening, plug your ears so you don't hear this one. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so. What you gotta do mm -hmm. is you gotta record her doing her no no, no. Oh. and you gotta make that the ghast cry. <laughs> Believe me, I've, I've been trying to catch that on recording, uh, but every time it happens, it happens to be when we're live and I got the background music playing. So I, I or somebody's talking or something is happening, and I just I have not. I have not managed a clean recording yet. You got to get that. So every time we go into the nether, <laughs> instead of hearing that, all you hear is, no, 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 no. I've also thought about recording Jabba making grumpy, grumpy old man noises and making that the replace the dog barks with him being a grumpy puppy. Except he's really you... bad about doing stuff on cue when you need him to. Yeah, you have that wonderful video of him being a jerk to me. Like, how many times did he move? Uh, every time you tried to refocus the camera on him. Dead tired. Totally worn out. Totally would not sit still for a photo. <laughs> like, would get up and literally turn his back to me. He is a grumpy old man. Yeah, he takes after someone. That's why me and him get along so well. That's another cute video of us being at your house and him listening for every single vehicle. Oh. <laughs> about ready to jump out of his skin. <laughs> what, is that him? No. Is that him? No. <laughs> But, but we're at Minnick's house. Where's Minnick at? He is a special puppy. 
couldn't have cared less that we were there. Nope. He wanted his medic. It's a, uh... That's a long way down. I don't advise dying. Well, no. Now, now I get a... My least favorite subject. I get to do some maths. 42. Please make that be the answer. Uh... So we got to be a minimum 24 blocks away from the top spawning platform and no more than 128 from the bottom. Uh-oh. Yep. Sorry, we're abandoned. Uh-oh. So that means if this platform is at 114... Did it stop? No. Well, not yet. If this is at 114, and we need to be 24 blocks away minimum, that's 138. We got we got plenty of so where is 10 because that's gonna be where spawning stops oh 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 oh, oh. Why, why did I climb down in the middle of the night poor decisions were made Shoot. There is a non zero chance that I, I made this too low. Although we could. No. Oh, no, that just means we can make the IFK platform higher. That's fine. Yeah, rubber band. It's happening every time I try to log in. Every FYI. Time. Yep. Because I tried to log in when you said it last time and the game kicked me out. <coughs> huh. I wonder if it's a problem with, uh, with the authentication server. If it's... Is that the same thing that thinks I'm a teenager even though I'm not? Are you sure you don't have the chat stuff turned off? Because you can do that as well. I didn't see any features that would affect my chatability. Oh, there we go. I just got kicked. Yeah, I saw. All right. But I did check to make sure that it knew how old I was, and it did. <clears throat> um, 
when, when you see me playing, instead of working on fabric, remind me that I'm supposed to be working on fabric. Hmm? You don't do anything with my fabric. Fabric the server software. Oh. Okay. Although I would like to do a, a fabric finish on a guitar one of these days. That that does look kind of cool. I got plenty of options. <laughs> I mean, plenty of options. I, 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 it's one of those things that I want to say it doesn't look that hard. But I'm also going to find out that that's because the people demonstrating it have done enough of it to, you know. Also, fabric is an absolute nightmare to work with. FYI. Yeah. Or it can be if you, you know, don't respect it for what it is and what it's not. Yeah, but the the next couple of next couple of builds that I have to work on are not going to be that project because uh, the the spalted maple finish of the Les Paul kit is too beautiful to cover up. Okay then, if I'm going to put the AFK spot higher anyway, uh, uh, seventy plus two plus one twenty eight is two hundred. Ooh, I found a slime. Come here, slimy. Where do you find gunpowder in the wild? Uh, you say, hey, Mr. Creeper, and he gives you gunpowder. Mm, no. Where else do you find gunpowder in the wild? No, literally, that's it. You kill creepers. No, thank you. Guests. Also, no thank you. <laughs> well, she was asking in the wild, and since Reyes doesn't venture into the nether unless absolutely possible, you know, uh, unless there's no other option, I, I kind of figured gas was not an appropriate suggestion. I, I am a gas that you would suggest that. What's the, uh, what's the command to bring up the, um... Uh, boundaries. The what? The chunks. Oh, uh, F3G. You mix ketchup and mayo. Good, that's French dressing. Ew. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat that? <laughs> no. Ketchup, mayo? No. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, ew, no! <laughs> Why? That is, that is the dip. Ketchup mayo with a little bit of cayenne pepper. Ugh. Oh. Oh, Medic. <laughs> there is a reason why I'm still single. <laughs> oh, Medic. Wow. Okay. Mm. Well, let's see if it's this chunk. Let's respond that. Okay. Before I forget and something unfortunate happens, let me put a torch on top of this. Hey, honey. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Oh, he's not even on. Nope. No, he did. He, well, I brought him food home, so. I understand the desire. That's like the fifth village. I also got kicked while you were logging in. Oh. Is that a mesa? I found a mesa. That's amazing. No. No, I'm mad about that, too. Do we need to know where this mesa is? Uh, maybe. Okay, well, there's a bunch of stuff saved in my print screen. I don't know where it saves, so good luck with that. Uh, print screen? It saves it to the clipboard until you actually do something with it. 
Or did you press F2 and get an actual screenshot from uh, Minecraft? Uh, I did print screen last time. Oh, yeah, then it didn't save anywhere. Okay. Okay. I did F2 this time, though. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three. But there's a little gold thing on top of the mesa. What's that? Also, I am so bloody lost. That bad? Yeah. Well, when... When Arcadius and I were on this weekend, and it was, like, it was rubber banding and doing dumb things so badly, and I was flying because I was trying to make it where I was going real quick, that I, I don't know where I ended up. Oh. Or in what orientation, because it kept kicking me halfway through. Uh, so are you saying that you are currently lost? I am. There is not an adequate word for the level of loss that I am. Um. Do you need the coordinates that are currently on my screen? Because that'll at least the get you to the that nether I can't portal. pull up in the coordinates hub? No, but you can still press F3 and get your coordinates. Oh, that screen is awful. Yeah, it is. I, I, like I genuine awful. I would still like to find a really good explainer on just just how that works. You know, wh wh which is what. And I know, I know, various people know, but I've not yet seen a really good explanation for. Okay, this is here, and that is there. Oh, I am so off target. Two. I am in the negative three thousands when I need to make it to positive four forty. <laughs> I'm walking now. I ran out of rockets. <laughs> oh, is that is that why you're asking where gunpowder could be found in the wild? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Board because one. it glitched oh. out and I was clicking and I didn't realize that the computer thought I was still in the game so it used up all my rockets. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just duplicated the crafting table. Can you duplicate me some rockets? <laughs> I can figure out how I duplicated the crafting table, then I duplicate all of us in rockets. <laughs> Just don't tell a non. Tell a non what? Yeah. Exactly. He's got no room to talk. He's got a second elytra. Yeah, if he was really strict about that, he wouldn't have kept it. That would have been the honest thing to do. <laughs> I support you, buddy. <clears throat> cool. you so much, he'll take that elytra for you and get rid of it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, me and uh, me and Arcadius in season one uh, tried a couple of duplication glitches to see if we could duplicate diamonds. <laughs> yeah, that that's the kind of duplication that I don't go for. Uh, like some some of the stuff, I don't. I I'm. There's a few things that I don't mind, but there, there are lines, and I've been trying to figure out, you know, the best way to express why why I'm okay with carpet and TNT, but not the shulker box duplication or uh, some of the sand duplicators that are out there. Like, there, there's a, somebody figured out how to do a duplication machine. Uh, you do some funky stuff with the end portal where you break the frames, but you don't break the portal. And you do some falling gravity block shenanigans. And uh, what was just floating down there? And uh, and at voila, you, you end up with uh, duplicated 
duplicated gravity blocks. So you have infinite, <coughs> bless you, infinite sand, infinite gravel, infinite concrete powder. And that's one that just kind of rubs me the wrong way. And I couldn't tell you why. Oh. Hmm. And how do they do that? Just, you know, hypothetical? Asking for a friend? <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. <coughs> You're not going to go asking if you want the trident this guy drops. No. <laughs> Give me your trident. He's not going to drop it. Oh, come on, man. Oh, gee. Oh. You already rolled your 20 this season. Mm-hmm. Somebody else? Anybody else? Nope. Hello? <coughs> you were... <coughs> you were... Oh well. I tried. Right. Oh, uh, I'm going to need. What are these? Um. What are these? Um. What are those? Fire charges good for. Uh, lighting stuff on fire. Okay. Uh, you can use them to light a nether portal in an emergency. You can also put them in a dispenser and fire them out like a gas fireball. I didn't know that. Oh, oh rubber band. Really bad. Yep. Oh. Yep. I swam and then got stuck in a tree. Alright, so this weekend, remind me to look into the fabric server when uh, I inevitably decide that I'd much rather go decorating my base. Because apparently documentation and communication within the community is hard. It's a hard, it's a hard problem to, to manage. Or something. We don't want to talk about documentation and communication with me right now, please. No, no, I kind of figured not. <clears throat> I feel you have a, a newfound understanding for some of the stuff that I went through at a previous job, and, and I feel sorry for that. Oop. Yeah, except it's different and weirder now. Uh, how so? <clears throat> well, A... You worked for a very large scale organization that, um, nothing is justifiable, but when you have so many moving parts, it's very, it's easy to understand where communication gets lost. Okay. And where you would be assured that another meeting or a pre meeting meeting or a pre meeting meeting meeting. Oh, don't. Or no, a pre 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 meeting meeting we're not joking <clears throat> would fix it. Um,. <laughs> There aren't enough people in my office to warrant the problems we are having. Mm. Mm. Except because people. And it doesn't matter if you have four people or 40 people, people are still people. Mm -hmm. Especially when they're peopling. Mm -hmm. And what is one of my least favorite things in the universe? <laughs> Peopling. People. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly fond of peopling myself these days. So far, I haven't had a cello talk back at me. I 
I have had some things to say about a cello, but I have not. <laughs> but it hasn't talked back yet. But it hasn't talked back yet. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys are still going without a problem. Uh, oh, I, I didn't say I was I'm going without a problem. Loudly enough about them. There it went. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> It is 8.17. Yeah, I know. Break! <laughs> it hasn't been long enough. What well, hasn't been long enough? The live stream hasn't been long enough. I'm sorry. Well, if you want to keep fighting the battle, you are more than welcome to. I just wish I knew what was going on. The computers hate us? Skynet's taking over. No. Honestly, if... If we back out, you might not have any server issues. Hopefully. Oh, no, the server had actually shut down. It's starting back up now. Oh. It should be back online now. today's log captain's log no star date 195 right, never mind I'll have to look at that later because I'm going to have to unzip the log and yada 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 that's not riveting Although, I don't know that me standing around here... Oh, I put down all those glass blocks. Although, I don't, I don't know that me putting down all these glass blocks is exactly riveting entertainment either. The main, the main objective for this part, though, is to make sure that the, pillar, the pillars are there to prevent spiders from spawning. Because they need an area that is three blocks by three blocks in order to spawn. And because the glass blocks are transparent to the game, it doesn't interfere with other mob spawns. So in other words, if, uh, if the game tries to spawn a skeleton here, it may try to spawn another one as a part of the group next to it. Um... No. What was it? what was the shoot? It's been so long since I since I watched those videos explaining how mob spawning works. Uh, but I I know that there there's a reason why you want walls as far away from your spawning platform as you can, you know, get away with. Um, and using glass for the pillars. Uh prevent spiders from spawning without messing with other mob spawns is the bottom line. I curse my memory or lack thereof. Because I'd really like to seem <laughs> to, to be able to explain why it's not enough that it does. I need to be able to explain why. And sadly, I cannot.
just on that corner, just on that corner. Although, the nice thing, one of the things that, I, that I'll probably look into with fabric is uh, that is where Zoomavoid and Impulse are able to use the mod that shows you the shulker's inventory when you mouse over it in your inventory. So you get a chance to actually preview what's in the shulker without having to put it down and go, uh, what's in this? Nope, not what I wanted. What's in this? Nope, not what I wanted. And that would be kind of nice. Okay, more than kind of nice. That'd be really nice. Of course, it, it doesn't help that uh, my project shulker boxes. Hang on. Let, let, me, uh, let me just open these up. and <laughs> Say you worked in an office without saying you worked in an office. Project 1, final, final, zip. Project 2, final, use this, final, zip. Project 3, 2022, 2, finished. <laughs> if you've ever had to endure those offices where they're not actually using any kind of versioning, like every software in the last two, two decades has had standard. <clears throat> and instead, you got final... Final 2. Final for real. Final 2020. <laughs> okay. And, all right. This is the next one. you guys log out of Discord too? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Just felt like I was talking to myself, although I have that feeling a lot lately. <laughs> okay, are we back up? Yep, server's back up. I added I added an automated task that uh, anytime the server is offline it and the automated task oh 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 no oh no that's a tragedy that's what that is that's a tragedy the wandering trader spawned in or near the water <coughs> And is now being assaulted by a drown. Limited time offers. Dude, what? Just they're they're all rifle. coming for you. Get out of the water, you fool! <laughs> and you know what the worst part is? Um, wandering traders don't get in boats, so I can't I can't save them. Dude, what I'm looking for is for you to get to safety. Do, do you not see this packet? So many drown. Oh. Hello. Got some good stuff here. Uh. We're gonna. All right. All right. Great. 
Uh, you got nothing I want. Limited time offers. <laughs> I should have left the, uh... So... Uh -oh. Just out of curiosity... Uh-oh. Just asking because you're, you're, you're keeping that elytra, right? Yeah, why? Did you also get a duplicate elytra on that last crash? No. What'd you get? I got a duplicate of all of my shulker boxes and everything that was in it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. I now have seventeen choker boxes. <laughs> Go ahead and get them all placed out again, just in case the server crashes. <laughs> I, man, I wish I knew what was going on. Hmm. I might not have enough glass to do this. That could be a problem. Oh, Reyes is going to be happy. <laughs> Why, did you find Reyes, slime? I no, well, I did find slime, and I'm trying to actually figure out what chunk it was he spawned in. But, uh, but no, um, three of my shulker boxes were almost full of, well, with, uh, cobbled beet slate. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure that'll last all of about eight minutes. Yeah, you know, because you got to take some care and putting down all all that cobbled deep slate. Takes time to turn it all into deep slate bricks. And... True. Oh, no, no, uh, that's done. Next one. and log back in real quick. Uh. Not at the moment. so happy when this is done because that then will at least solve the rocket problem although again I still got to do oh. the sugarcane part and get storage going and are, are, are we going to try to figure out how to tweak your iron farm or are you just going to out and out replace it Nope, I am going to out and out replace it with a big massive farm, and I've already decided where I'm going to put it. Are you going to do that impulse one that I linked to, or a different one? I haven't even looked at it yet. I was, uh... And the, was the only reason why I suggested that one was because it also has a villager breeder built in, and that would, that would solve two problems in one, in one swoop. know if you really want a villager breeder where I'm planning on putting this. What, are you going to go all the way back to the, the spawn chunks and put it there? Nope. Oh, no. Um, you know where uh, where the village is, uh, if, you're if you're standing in the village 
looking out towards where the current iron farm is. Mm -hmm. If you look off to the right, there's that big giant hole in the ground uh, cavern. Yeah. I was planning on building it over that. <laughs> okay. You can still do it. You know, that way, that way, number one, there's nothing for the, um, golems to spawn in. Yeah. In large. Exactly. Plus, I think it'd look pretty cool, you know, with big giant spikes coming out the, around it, <laughs> holding the, the whole thing up. So, uh, we, we need to get a dripstone farm going for you. Yeah, so you can make the point of dripstone. Or did you not know that you can farm that? No, I knew you could farm that. I just didn't know why we needed to. No, I thought you said you are going to put a bunch of spikes on the bottom. No, or, no, Or did no, I no, misunderstand? No, no. So, no, so where the big hole is, mm -hmm. I was going to have what looks like, like, a, like a clawed hand, kind of, but without the centerpiece, just the, the, the claws coming out of the ground. That at the tip of it is where the platform is that starts the iron farm. Okay, yeah, I totally misunderstood the way you were describing that. Yeah, in the iron farm going straight up from there. And I that totally way, ran out of glass. Oh, that way are, there is no way for them to spawn anywhere. I am two blocks short. No, four blocks short. Come on, slimes. Come on. Where are you guys? Come out, come out wherever you are. Ali Ali Oxen Free. He had to have spawned in one of these two chunks. Reyes had that problem flying. I'm not sure I want to fly back. I'd like to not have an out-of-body fly flight. <laughs> ah! Okay. All right. I guess I'm walking now. No. Uh, kind of waiting until it's time to sleep first. If Oh. Oh, hello. Where you at? I see another trident donor. Are you type trident? Perfect. I need to clip that or something. The trident he threw at me bounced off my shield and killed him. Dang. Come on. There's got to be an achievement for that. No? No. And all those tridents down there are not real ones, are they? Breathe, 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 breathe. Here's as good a place to sleep as any. No, why did you throw the sword? Okay, all right. Oh, 
Arcadius, I don't know if you saw the text message, but uh, the guitar string order is in. And uh, initially, the first time I looked, it said that the strings would be in on Monday. And now it's saying they're supposed to be in tomorrow, which I am highly suspicious of. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't, Don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. Uh, I <laughs> sorry. The uh, since we're <laughs> since we're doing uh, all, all all the Among Us stuff earlier, uh, shipping notification is sus. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the the idea is it it has been way too long since I last picked up a guitar and played, and I have forgotten much of what little I knew, which is saying something. So, uh, Ar and Arcadius would like to join me on this particular adventure. I'm gonna get a couple of gar guitars fixed back up, and I'm go and we're going to do. Uh, an online lesson series normally usually generally uh, I I much prefer in-person lessons to online lessons for guitar only because I have seen too often people doing stuff where they think they're doing something and they're not and it takes an in-person instructor to go no no your, your hand it goes like this um, and so, likewise, I tend to prefer in-person for guitar for that reason. However, I run into this problem where, because I know a little bit, people assume I know more than I do. Uh, you, which you wouldn't think would be my problem. But, um... Space... The final frontier. You know, I have two guitars, right? No, I didn't know that. Yep, I have an acoustic and I have an electric. Nice. Um. But uh, so Arcadius can join me on this particular endeavor. Uh, going to. Going to uh. Do the lessons, do the lessons here. Online. And you know who doesn't assume you know stuff you don't already know? A video. <laughs> there were three lessons here. Like, looking at all the variety of online lessons you could take, there were three that stood out for me. One, and the one we're most likely going to do, is Guitar Quest by Rob Scallon. Rob Scallon's a YouTube guitarist. Um, he does some amazing work. And, and if you're interested in guitar or music or just people being absolutely mind-blowingly amazing, uh, go go check out go check out his channel. Um, Mary Spender was one of the others that I had looked at. Uh, I really like the fingerstyle technique that she uses, and it's one of those techniques that I've always wanted to learn, but struggled with. And, and I I like the approach. I, I like the yeah. Um, although I think Rob's is going to be more fun. Sorry, Mary. Uh, and the third one. Not necessarily third in rank, but the third one in general that we were looking at was Paul David's uh, Learn, Practice, Play. Uh, which seems like it might be, like it's going to be more thorough in terms of technique. Um, but not necessarily, not necessarily fitting what Arcadius and I are both looking to accomplish, if that makes sense. But it does look like an amazing course and one that would be very, very good. So those are the three. If if that's uh, if that's something anybody out there's been looking for, 
Um, those are the three that I would recommend you look into. Go go watch a couple of the videos. Go look at a couple of the previews. Um, look at what people have to say and have said about the, the different courses and choose which one fits you best. But uh, those would definitely be the three that I would recommend to anybody looking to do that sort of thing. Although, having said that, if you have the opportunity to take in-person lessons, I'd recommend that. Uh, just because just it, it is really nice to have somebody going, no, 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 your hand, it goes like this. And you don't necessarily get that with, uh, with a video. At least for Arcadius, I'm here, and I, I've at least <laughs> I can still remember that that little. And this is why I want to build an absolutely massive smelter array. So you're not sitting here waiting for these last few. I would like a stack to burn quicker than this. Oh, I, I, I think I've got, I think I got a handle on how to get a 16 furnace array, which means uh, I've got eight furnaces in the project box now. Because these are the two boxes that have all the materials from the last go around. And I've got, where are my furnace? All right, so I've got eight furnaces, eight blast furnaces. I need eight more of each of those. Oh, cobble, where art thou? So there's 16 furnaces, 16 blast furnaces. Uh, let's... <laughs> of course. Almost enough. logs that I have over there. Bother. Alright. So that will be the smokers as soon as I get the lumber back together. Uh, do, do we have a Heart of the Sea anywhere? Yep. Okay, because I'm starting to get a fair amount of Nautilus shells. I'm not sure if it's enough to make a conduit or not. But uh, having a conduit would be really, really nice. Because um, what I would like to do is when we go to tackle one of the... One of the um, underwater temples. Bring a conduit with us that we can stick down in the corner. And... Uh, I have a conduit already. You have a conduit already? Okay. I have a conduit and I have two more hearts of the sea, I believe. Okay. Because um, I got some more. I got this Nautilus shell here and a bunch more where I uh, <laughs> dealt with a crowd. <laughs> yeah, that, that's been my... Joking issue is I haven't had enough of those shells. 
Not that it doesn't mean any good because we don't have the prism ring to power it anyway. Well, no, that's what I'm saying is when we go to tackle one of the temples, we drop that as close to the middle as we can, and then we don't have to worry about drowning in the temple while we deal with the guardians. No, that's fair. And then we release, we unleash the axolotls, and uh, and then go to town on the elder folks. <laughs> Except I think we're supposed to say "unleash the axolotls" in a very vaguely British accent, or no? I, just, I don't think it has the same uh, the same effect. Uh. Release the axolotls. No. Yeah, of course. You know, they probably are, are like, we really need to say it in a in an English accent and <laughs> then try their hand at the Paula Deen. Release the axolotls, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> There's something very, very wrong with that. <laughs> uh, how much butter do you, do you cook a uh, guardian with? Or, no, that was the survivalist lady, wasn't it? No, that was Paula Deen. That was Paula Deen? Oh, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to take these three strips of bacon and we're going to deep fry them in five pounds of butter, y'all. <laughs> no, it, it was at Dragon Con. We were watching somebody make a rib roast. I will never forget this. I mean, my arteries are hardening just thinking about it. And, and she used, like... 12 or 16 sticks of butter and then glazed it with a stick of butter for the presentation. Ah, uh, the Pioneer Lady. Yeah, yeah. Or I think it's called the Pioneer Woman, I think, it's the show. Yeah, because when you say Pioneer Lady, I want to channel my inner Gilbert Godfrey. Hey, lady. <laughs> I'd say kids ask your parents, but I think that reference is now old enough that I have to say kids ask your grandparents, and that makes me sad. The fact that I even have to think about that makes me sad. <laughs> That's my grandparents, huh? You know who Gilbert Godfrey is. <laughs> don't don't even. <laughs> Man, that goes back a little ways. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, I can blame other people. It's just not right. Let me leave that there. Because I'm probably going to need more later. Uh, let's get that away there. And it's almost 9 o'clock. Ajeva needs to be fed. Um... I need to upload Friday's live stream to YouTube because I kind of forgot. As well as today's live stream to YouTube. So, uh, double feature coming up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo will have fun watching it. I hate, I hate that I forgot that. That bothers me. I always thought that was really funny. Back when we had to leave him home alone. Oh, yeah. When we all worked, he, uh... He put on a live stream because it's familiar voices for him. And he would actually sit by the desk and look and watch the screen. <laughs> <laughs> he can be so cute sometimes. And then there's oh. all the other times. Oh, hi, friend. I really didn't want you here. 
Now I remember why my old builds used to only be two blocks high. I do like the spaciousness, though. I was actually thinking about this as I was raising that roof up. Uh, the last time I did a mountain base was <laughs> like like this was in the season before season zero. Uh, before we had settled on Coffee Craft, and it was just a spare computer running at on the home network. Um, I built what I thought was a massive mountain base, and now I'm thinking we probably could have fit all three floors in this one room, and still have spare room to spare in this room. And, and I'm feeling like th this ain't massive enough either. <laughs> I mean, does anybody else feel, feel like that now? Hmm? I said you feel in some kind of way about that? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Oh, dude, don't walk in front of me like that. I, are you trying to get... Look, fine. Oh, you can reach me there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't look at me in the eye. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure if uh, it shows up in the log, but, you know, I died by Enderman uh, yesterday. Uh, it does show up in the logs, but I have... I. It's only when I'm looking for stuff that I find things. Uh, how how did an Enderman manage to, to do you wrong like that? Well, I was AFK in the uh, iron farm. Oh, all right. Uh, and it spawned in there and just casually walked in front of me and made eye contact and then killed me before I could realize that he was there. <laughs> Oof. Hmm. Thanks, dude. Did, did you at least manage to recover your stuff? Oh, yeah, because I can see, I, I saw out of the corner of my eye movement, and I was thinking to myself, okay, Arcadius must be messing with me, and I turn around and look. <laughs> I love how that's your first one. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I meant I meant to talk to you about the opening that the spiders crawl through too. Yeah, I have already closed it off because I found a spider in there with the villagers. Yeah, I I walked away and came back and found four spiders in there with me because it was daytime. They were not hostile, so at least there was that. But yeah, I closed it off so they can't get in there anywhere where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. All right. Let me finish up this uh, this last floor, and then I'll and then I'll call it a stream. Let me get a shield up just in case, because uh, pretty sure with my luck, since I want to do something quickly, uh, trident wielding is going to show up and. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Spine doesn't spawn below a certain level, do they? So what? Spine, spine, slime <laughs> won't okay. spawn below a certain level, will they? Uh, they will only spawn below Y40. So if you're higher than 40, you'll never find one. Why? So they will spawn down at bedrock. Um, I with the with the recent changes. Uh, putting things into the negative numbers, I don't know how that affects their spawning, but I do I do know that it is uh, that uh, they still will not spawn above Y forty, except in a swamp. Except in a swamp. Well, I know I just I killed a big a big slime down here. Yeah, I mm -hmm. just opened up all this area to see if they will spawn. I've got nothing spawning. Hmm. Is 
and there's nowhere for him to have fallen down here. Are you sure? I'm positive because there's no big holes in the ceiling from where he could have sp fallen. over here, but he wasn't moving. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if he did end up uh, bouncing over there from somewhere else. If you're not getting something spawning there. I mean, you gotta be a minimum 24 blocks away before they'll spawn. So there is that part too. Well, at the time, I was messing around blocking... Arcadius in where he logged out at. <laughs> and it, it popped up like two chunks over from me. Okay. Now, don't worry, Arcadius. I took down the block, so you're, you're free. I was hoping to find a uh, slime and set up a slime farm. Yeah. Yeah, between that and a honey farm. Because I'm almost... I, I am deeply curious if uh, a honey farm could work. Or honey blocks could work in place of slime for the... Uh, for the sugarcane farm. Because if I get honey blocks to work in place of slime blocks for some of the redstone stuff, ooh, I should try that with the fern. You, you know what? Um, hang on, I'm gonna hop over to my redstone testing real quick, just because that that uh, it, if I don't do this while I'm thinking about it, I will forget. Memory something or other. What's it called? Can't remember. And then I'll log off. And th this is the, the this is going to be uh, the the this is going to be the uh, the bulk of Friday is working out the issues with uh, the smelter array. It's gone through a couple of iterations, so that is what I finished. The, the timing works as long as you're using a cooker for kelp. When you try to use uh, regular furnaces for glass or stone or stuff like that not so much and I also realized that is a very overcomplicated way of solving the problem when all I really needed was an observer looking at the last furnace when the last furnace turns on from the first item hitting he's gonna fire out a one tick pulse fast enough for this sticky piston to push but not retract these blocks so it'll push it out and retract so fast these blocks end up getting stuck one block further that way which pushes this redstone block one f one block away starting the machine up and uh, and then when that last furnace turns off which will happen as soon as the last item is smelted, then it'll fire again, pulling everything back, turning off the machine. So I don't have to worry about, do I have enough delay? How, how long is the pulse length and all that? Um, I, I'm, look, I'm, wa I'm literally watching the furnaces and turning it on or off, depending on whether that last furnace has turned on or turned off. The only problem I was running into is because this rail only extends one block out from the last furnace. Uh, this last one was picking up more items than everything else. So uh, for a short like 64 stack, one stack of items to smelt, it would work fine and distribute more or less fine. But if you put in like seven or eight stacks of stuff, this I, this one would back up so these other furnaces would be finished and this one would still have a dozen or so items 
to burn, which means that problem is just going to get exponentially bigger as you go. Um, I tried to keep things tight over here. So there's an observer, an observer, and an observer. This observer is watching the furnace. That The observer under the redstone block is watching that one. And that guy is watching the guy under the redstone block. So you can get the redstone signal around the corner without that block interfering. The only problem with this setup, uh, I've got the two rails. So this hopper doesn't get filled with items faster than any of the other ones. But it moves close enough to the carpet duplicator that it ends up picking up random bits of carpet. So I need to push the carpet duplicator back back a little bit uh at least one block further that way maybe maybe two but at least one um and then i think i'll have finally gotten version two down maybe um and then i can start building a bunch of these uh, initially, I was just going to build eight smokers, eight blast furnaces, and then a 16 regular, regular uh, furnaces. But if uh, that same size duplicator will handle 16 as well as it will eight, I might just go ahead and make them all 16 furnaces. And... and I was watching a Pixelverse video, and he said that he doesn't like using systems like this for the unloader. I ignore that bit of redstone. It should look like this. I just needed to see what the signal strength was coming off of that comparator. Um, he normally doesn't like using stuff like this because, in theory, if you put in an odd number of things like, uh, you know, say, 5 copper instead of the, the 32 it's set for, um, this will, this will not fill up and it won't go. That's why I was trying to work on systems where you could have a button to manually override if you had less than the normal number of items, uh, which as you can see, I did figure out. But I also noticed that because of some weird delay here as it's going back up, um, it actually ends up picking up more than the more than the number of items set so that may or may not be an issue um, we'll, we'll have to see that when we actually start using it in practice um, oh how about the reason the whole reason why I logged in here instead of instead of yammering on about other stuff so what if we did? Four of those guys. Oh, because that's not a full block. That might that might end up being the that might end up being the problem. All right, let's give it a shot anyway. And we're off. Uh, slime blo or, or uh, honey blocks cannot be used in the duplicator. For that, you definitely need slime. Except no substitute. Knocked a bunch of that stuff into the, the uh. Yep. Alright. So it won't work for that. Oh, good. All of these should be, uh, should be empty anyway. Or should, should, uh. Finish. Oh, oh crikey.
keep forgetting you can't uh, <laughs> do that kind of stuff in creative. Uh, let's just double check and make sure we didn't get some... Okay, good. Yeah, I had some weird stuff with the uh, water stream too. Alright, so... Let's, uh... Let's leave my little furnace island. And step over here real quick. Clear out the inventory and let's, uh... Let's do a quick, uh... Sugar cane... I'm going to need that. I'm going to need... Actually, I don't need sand, per se. Let's grab some dirt. Let's grab a water bucket. I'm going to need an observer. A honey block. A sticky piston. lanterns and then we'll go from there oh okay Two, three four I opened up another chunk and uh it wasn't that one either so I'm, oh. I'm done for the night on trying to find it yeah I hear you on that I heard him. Heard oh the slime. Yes. I heard a slime. Where are you at? <laughs> there. No, not there. There. Dude, really? I needed that to be one further forward. He is above me. Above you? dungeon area? Yeah, where Reyes was originally digging out all the deep sleep. Ah. Oops. Um, where is the chunk? I feel like I'm forgetting something. slime spawn <laughs> see him spawn then we gotta farm what am I forgetting about my sugarcane farm what did I do to the tick speed <laughs> that, that, that is uh Oh, 
did I did I do too many? I think in the end, slime blocks will definitely, or uh, honey blocks will work for the sugarcane farm as soon as I remember what it is that I'm forgetting and how, how this is built. I, oh, my brain. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh wait, no, that's right, the push limit is 12, not 13. That should actually be there. Did I change the take speed? That's growing quick. What did I do to keep the, the observer from moving with the pistons? said I was going to wait until another day. Um, but but the problems are here now. So I could definitely use honey blocks for the for the sugarcane portion of this endeavor. Oh, that's right. Normally with the sugarcane farm, I tile up a bunch of the uh, a bunch of pistons and each one fires independently instead of a group like this. That's what I was doing differently. Okay. I I, I knew I did I knew I wasn't having these problems before. All right. Uh, I'll I'll mock up something a little less quick and quick and dirty on that uh, before too long. Uh, that that'll probably still be a part of Fridays, along with working on this beastie here. Uh, either way, would I? Uh, where where can I get away with uh, replacing? Replacing slime with honey. Okay, so I could I could use a honey block there instead of a slime block, and that would work. I can't on the duplicator. 
but I can for that part there. Although if Medic just found the the slime the slime haven, uh, that, that that's that problem solved anyway. All right, all right. I haven't found it yet, but I know there's slime down there. All right. Uh, this is where I say I should have done this about a half hour ago. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy. Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is definitely Coffee Craft. Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern will happen. Just the what is up for grabs right now. Uh, although this coming Friday, we're going to be spending a lot of time in the Redstone testing to, to get the furnace array squared away to get a better mock-up of a sugarcane farm put together and and then uh, probably to gather the materials to actually build some of the some of the stuff in uh, in uh, the the actual on the server that is that is the plan as of now keep an eye on Twitter for updates in case that changes let's uh, let's see somebody on that we can raid yes beast lord is on playing monster hunter generations ultimate let's go uh let's go tell him hello stick around for the raid and i will see you next time <laughs>